every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials are about IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. Today we will continue on last week's video, where we created a toggle button. In that video, we encountered some problems such as bouncing and how long a person presses a button. Today we will be taking care of bounce. Bounce is the electrical phenomenon that occurs when we open or close an electric circuit with a button. If you read the state of a button very quickly, it seems like we have pressed the button a few times in quick succession. We can solve this very easily by programming a delay. Task A Toggle button bounce example. I will have a link in the upper right corner to my last video or in the description down below, where you can easily follow for the code and more details. So continuation on last week's video. The schematic stays the, stays the same, but now we want to add a few lines of code so you guys can see bouncing in action. Counter. So firstly we are going to create a counter that counts to 10 before the LED turns on. So firstly we want to add an integer called counter and we go back to our loop and every time the button reading is high and the previous one, previous one is low then we want our counter to add up one number, right? We do this by writing counter plus equals 1. Now we want to add another check to our if statement. So if counter equals equals to 10 and and LED state equals to high, then the LED state has to be low and the counter has to be reset to zero. Now after or else we write if counter equals equals to 10 then the LED state has to be high and our counter has to be reset to zero again. And now we test this. So now we can count 10 times and then the LED has to turn off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six seven seven times guys okay second time one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten times now so this is a perfect example from bouncing we can remove most of this bouncing by applying some simple lines so task b is toggle button debounce now we add two new variables long time equals to zero and long debounce equals to 200. Why long you might ask? Well because the time measured in milliseconds will quickly become a bigger number than can be stored in an integer. Now we go back to our loop and add to the first if statement and and millis minus time greater than debounce and after our else if statement we add time equals to millis so if the button just went from low and high and we've waited long enough to ignore any noise of the circuit we'll toggle the output pin and remember the time so we wait a certain amount of time, like you can see up here, it has to be at least greater than 200 milliseconds, mm -hmm, you see here, so the current millis minus the time being zero at the first time has to be greater than, greater than the debounce time, so 200. And after this is, uh, after this, um, is over, the new time becomes, becomes uh, the time 
has to take over the value millis. Then when you rerun it again, the time is maybe 300. And then it has to check again the current millis minus the new current time, uh, well the new time being 300. And then if it's greater than D bounce, then it can, then you can press the button again. Now we have cleared out some of the bouncing. So let's test this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, this will be right every time. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want the schematics and the code from today's video or from any of my previous videos, you can go to my Patreon page. Here you get access to a number of things, such as your name that gets to be in my credits, all of my schematics and code, a digital signature and digital poster, and adblock forgiveness, where you will be mentioned in my credits that you are forgiven for using adblock. What to do now? Go to Amazon and buy yourself again like in previous video, an LED, a button, a resistor, wires and waste again a lot of money. Or buy the original Arduino starter kit or the cheaper version. This will contain all of the equipment you will need for all of my videos in the future. Well, most of the videos, of course. Link will be in the description. There should be an affiliate link and a normal link. The affiliate link meaning I will get a small percentage of the price that you're paying for referring you to the product. This does not mean the price is higher for you so don't worry. But if you want to support me, definitely go and use that link to buy the Arduino Uno and or starter kit. So that's it for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.